Hello and thanks for making your purchase of your new Rampant Design Tools product. This quick tip is designed to get you up and running with style mats as quickly as possible. Let me show you why Rampant Design Tools quick time based elements are going to not only make your composites look fantastic, but they're also going to speed up your effects workflow. Mat keys and track mats are what we're going to use to get you up and going in the right direction. Let's take a look at Sony's Vegas. Okay, so let's Alt and Tab into Sony's Vegas. What we're gonna do first of all is obviously import some footage. Let's come to File, let's come down to Import, let's come to Media, and I happen to be in my basketball folder. I'm just gonna grab two clips at random here and I'm gonna say Open. And then what we need is of course our style mat element. Again, what we're gonna do is navigate to File, come down to Import, come to Media, and I'm just gonna step up a layer here and I'm gonna come into Elements and here is my style mat element right here. I'm simply gonna say Open. And what we need to decide is what is going to be cut out and what is going to be the background. So I think I'm just going to have this uh, wide shot here. Actually, no, you know what? I think we'll have this fence here be the background. Very nice. This sort of is actually a perfect background because it's slightly out of focus. And what we're going to do next is take our style mat and we're going to put that on the second video layer just like such. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our basketball shot, our other basketball shot, drop it into the topmost layer. Now I'm just going to position both of these elements sort of midway down, right about there. So they're going to come in and then they're going to disappear. So the first thing that I need to do is with the topmost clip, what I need to do is I'm going to, with it selected, I'm going to navigate over here to track motion. And inside of track motion, all I'm going to do is navigate up to source alpha. We're going to drop that down and I'm going to simply select multiply and in brackets mask. And as soon as I do, you can see now that we have this style mat looking exactly the way that we want. Now, if I was happy with this on black, I could just leave it. I could also come back here, simply hit play. And you can see that the element looks fantastic. But what if I wanted to have this over top of that background that I put in here? No problem. What we're going to do is we're going to come to the style mat layer. I'm going to come right over here to track effects. I'm going to select it and I'm going to choose mask generator. I'm going to say OK. And now you'll see that I have all these different options in here of which I'm going to leave all of them exactly the way that they are for right now. I'm simply going to close the video track effects window. And what I need to do is adjust one more thing. I'm going to navigate over here and you're going to notice right now we're set to make compositing parent, but I don't want to do that. I actually want to make this the compositing child. And as soon as I do, you'll see the element almost looks the way that we want it to, except for the fact that I can actually see through it a little bit. So what we're going to do is navigate right back here to our track effects. I'm simply going to select it and I'm going to just going to adjust the high in. And as soon as I adjust that, you're going to see that we can get rid of that pesky background very easily. I'm simply going to close the window now. I'm going to come right back here and hit play. And you'll see now that this style mat looks fantastic and is ready to be dropped into any production that I happen to be working on. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, you can head on over and post them in the Rampant Design Tools forums.